Drought and heat wave conditions evaporate more than a metre of water each year from the above ground storages of the Border River's Gwida irrigators. Within the overall surface irrigation system, evaporation mitigation is being pursued as a means of minimising significant water losses on farm. Director of the National Centre for Engineering and Agriculture, Eric Schmidt, is assessing the technology that has the potential to reduce these losses. We're looking mainly at uh, monolayer or surf chemical surface films. We know that there are other good products that are out there at the moment which can cover a dam and save evaporation. Shade cloth, floating covers, modular plastic covers. They come at a price. They do a good job but they come at a price which is very often beyond what uh, an irrigator is prepared to pay. So the work that we're looking at is a technology which is a surface film and in many cases a monolayer which can save perhaps not as much as a plastic cover but it comes at a much cheaper rate. So the focus of our work is to try to improve those products and improve their performance. What's the barriers there at the moment or what are the uh, limiting factors? Well I guess one of the barriers is in fact the product itself. Uh, we're finding that under the conditions that we're testing it on <laughs> real world commercial storages that wind plays a big factor in the, uh, in the movement of the product across the surface. Also the breakdown of the product by the microorganisms in the, in the storage dam that are sitting on the surface of the water. They can often use the product as a food source. Um, equally the, the product evaporates or volatilizes. So we've been looking at uh, ways to better manage the product, apply it on in a smarter way using better application technologies. Uh, and also the, the product itself, developing new, new chemical monolayers, which is not work we're doing specifically, but certainly there's a lot of effort going into that by another group, the CLC for polymers, for instance. And we're hoping that it'll all come together in terms of better application strategies using the sort of technologies that we've been demonstrating here today, how together with improved products. How soon do you think that's likely to happen? Uh, that's a million dollar question, isn't it? That, um, certainly, we, we're very happy with where we've got to now in terms of how you apply the product and the, the, the methodology. Uh, we're going to continue to test both the commercial products that are in the market as well as look at the new ones. Uh, it's difficult for me to say because we're not leading that research, but I'm optimistic that in the next um, six to 18 months there will be some good initiatives coming out of the, the effort that's being put into new model layer development. Well, it's not too far away then? It's not too far away, yeah. A demonstration of applicators for monolayers is being conducted at Yamba, west of Moree, and the researcher with NCEA, Troy Symes, is managing the project. It's been going really well, Stuart. Uh, our system's been performing very well. Uh, they've been applying product at, at regular doses, uh, and the communication system that we've developed has worked very well also. So we're very happy with how it's going. Yeah. What have you learned from it so far, do you think? We've been able to see the product on a larger storage which we haven't had a lot of experience with. Most of our trials have been small scale trials so it's been very good to actually see the product on the surface and see how it's affected by wind and it's been able to inform us of the management practices that we might need to bring in. All right, have you had much response then at all from the uh, irrigators here today? I think there is a lot of interest. Unfortunately, some of the products that are available at present haven't lived up to their promise. Uh, but I believe that there is some expectation that once these new products, the new novel products that are being developed, are on the market, that there is potential for significant savings at a cost-effective uh, break-even point. At his farm, Yamba, Irrigator Lyndon Mulligan is providing local support for the demonstration. I think this technology could be very valuable in the future. We need to try and limit our losses of water wherever they are occurring within our systems, whether it's through leakages, through dams, through evaporation mechanisms, and I guess that's where this sort of technology is really aiming. I mean, most of our evaporation occurs in the growing season for us throughout the year, the six months of the growing season, which is October through to March, is the gross evaporation period for us. And if if we can sort of limit the evaporation losses, then I think it'd be a great saving. Part of our problem is it's very hard to see those losses during that growing season because we've actually got water coming in out of the system the whole time and we don't actually appreciate what those losses actually could be. In the, at the end of the season, in the sun, uh, coming into the autumn and winter time, of course you see what those losses are because when you start at the beginning of the next season, you can see how much you've lost. But during, you know, there's almost like a latent evaporation period there. I think that if we could use this technology uh, on our dams and, and perhaps 
probably in their channels even as well. I think their savings could be yeah great, mm. especially with the cost of water as well. It's going to keep going up for us as well. Yes. Now at Yamba, you have a trial here at the moment. Uh, from what you've seen of the technology and, and it, once it's refined and so on, do you think it'd be an easy system for you to manage? Oh, extremely easy. I mean, I've uh, just observed them a couple of times uh, on the dam, and I mean, I've you know the the applicators work obviously because I've seen the uh, product administered on top of the water. Yeah, and no, I think very easily managed. Actually, very easily managed. I mean, obviously, it could take a little bit of refinement for the product at this stage, but yeah, certainly uh, into the future, it's got great potential. So far, monolayers have shown variable results ranging from zero to 30% savings in evaporation and a requirement to redose every two to three days. However, the CRC for polymers believes that there is a great opportunity for irrigators to realise significant water savings through this system.